Hi everyone, it's Marissa. I'm the managing editor of Taste Buds, and I'm going to show you how to file away your photos um, when you're submitting something for a story. So when you log into Dropbox, uh, you're going to see this home page. I'm going to go to the left under this box to files. I click on it. And then you're going to go to our editorial year. So this year it's 2018-2019. Um, and then once you're in 2018-2019, you're going to go to incoming photos. This is the only folder you're going to need to remember. Um, once you're in incoming photos, we file our photos by month of publication. So for example, November is coming up. Maybe you're filing a November story. I'm going to click on November. And within each month's folder, you're going to see subfolders for the categories of articles that we publish. So for example, maybe I'm doing a recipe. So I'll click there. And I've already kind of made myself a folder. But um, if you need to, you can rename it. So when you are filing your photos in the proper category, so recipes, you're going to put the photographer's name. So maybe it's me, Marissa Wu, and then give us the article's title so that we can match it up um, on the website. So maybe I'm doing an article on, let's see, best uh, pasta recipe. And then you're going to put the writer's name so that we know who wrote it. If it's you, you can just put your name down again. If it's not you, put the writer's name so we can match it up. Rachel Rex, maybe. So we have this subfolder. And now you're going to just open the folder that you created um, right here also. I forgot to mention. If you need to create a new folder, um, right here, this button, and it'll just make a new one and you can do the renaming thing. Uh, so open your folder that you made and then you're gonna go to upload files. Pick your files, wherever they might be, choose and upload them. Uh, please go through your photos and kind of pick the best five, 10, maybe 15, if you're doing a really big article or it has a lot of depth. Um, we're just trying to prevent having to go through 100 files of the same shot, same angle. So try to pick the ones that you're really proud of and you want to have put on the site. Um, but other than that, if you have questions, you can email um, the photo editor and we will help you get set up.